Let's talk about audio and how you can make your voice sound more professional. But first, if we talk about audio, I wouldn't recommend using the bolt and microphone in your camera because those usually sound pretty cheap. I either recommend picking one of these up, it's a Rode Lavalier microphone that I bought used on eBay for only 10 bucks and the sound quality is great. Or if you want to do voiceovers on your PC, I highly recommend getting one of these five fine USB microphones. They are 30 to 35 bucks on Amazon. Or what I just recently picked up are those Samsung CO2 pencil condenser microphones. They have an exceptional build quality and an exceptional sound quality. Two of them will run you 60 bucks on Amazon, but if you wanna only buy one, this will run you $45. So this is the microphone that I'm currently using. I bought the pack of two and I can show you right there. It's the exact same microphone. So let's jump into the Fairlight page to show you the few steps that I do in every single one of my videos to make my voice sound better. So first of all, let's have a listen to the before and the after. This is a test to show you how you can get great audio within DaVinci Resolve's Fairlight page. This is a test to show you how you can get great audio within DaVinci Resolve's Fairlight page. So even though this is the same exact recording, there is a pretty significant difference. And if you take a look at audio track number one in the mixer, you see that I've done a few changes to this audio file. And I'm about to show you how you can make your audio sound more professional. So the first thing that we want to do is go ahead, go to the mixer and change the order. By default, the order is set to effects, then dynamics and then equalizer. But for me, I personally like to set my order to equalizer effects and then dynamics. That's because I want the cleanest signal when I'm doing effects like noise reduction and de -esser, and that's why I'm gonna do my equalizer first. So that way I have a very clean signal going into my effects where I can do noise reduction and some de -essing. and then I'm gonna go ahead and add some dynamics like to compress my audio and to make the loudest parts a little bit quieter and the quiet parts a little bit louder. First of all, go to order and change effects, dynamics, equalizer, to equalizer effects dynamics. Then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna double click on equalizer in the audio track number two because there is the raw audio and I'm gonna go ahead and activate band number one and band number six. And then I'm gonna change band number two and band number five to the same symbol as in band number three and band number four. So let's do that. And now I have to set the frequency for each band. And this is for my voice personally. You have to experiment a little bit with your voice. But for me, I like to have my frequency for band number two set somewhere between 200 and 300. So let's set this to 250. Then on band number three, I want my frequency between 500 to 1K. So let's go there. Somewhere between 500 and 1K is where I'm gonna do adjustments on band number three. Now band number four usually sits between 1K and 2K. So let's rearrange it there. And band number five sits between 3K and 4K. So now the next step is I'm gonna up my Q factor for band number two, three, four, and five, all the way to 10.3 which is the highest. And now what I'm gonna do, I usually start with band number four. I will increase my gain to plus 20 dB and then have a listen. And if I hit play right now, you will hear that this sounds totally awful, but I'm gonna show you how I do my adjustments. This is a test to show you how you can get great. So, of course, this sounds pretty awful, but I said, Band number four usually sits between one and 2K. And what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna hit play and then I'm gonna use my frequency slider to slide in between 1K to 2K to find the noises that I don't like. Then I'm gonna leave this frequency slider there and I'm gonna lower my gain. And this is the same exact step for band number two, three, four, and five. So let's just hit play. This is a test to show you how you can get great audio within DaVinci Resolve's Fairlight. Somewhere right there is where I don't like the noises. So I'll leave my frequency slider at 1.2K and then I'm gonna lower my gain to around minus eight. So this is pretty good. Then I'm gonna go to band number two, which 
is usually between 200 and 300. So I'm gonna use my frequency slider there. But first I'm gonna up my gain to plus 20. Then I'm gonna go back to the start, hit play again. This is a test to show you how you can get great audio within the... And right there is where I don't like the noise. So I'll go there and then I'm gonna lower my gain to around minus five. Then I'm gonna go to band number three and this is between 500 and 1K. I know personally for my voice, right around sits at the 500 mark. So I'm gonna go towards 500 and I'm gonna up my gain to around plus 20. I'm gonna go to the beginning, hit play. This is a test to show you how you can get great audio within DaVinci. Right there is the frequency that I don't like and all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna lower my gain to around minus six, minus seven. And now let's go to band number five and do the same thing gonna up my gain all the way I'm gonna go to the beginning I'm gonna hit play this is a test to show you how you can get great audio within DaVinci there's the frequency that I don't like so I'm gonna lower my gain once again to around minus five and what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna set up my band one and band six usually for my liking 80 to 85 is fine on band number one so let's go ahead turn this to around 84 83 and I'm gonna up my frequency on band number six to around 14.6K. And if we have a listen now, this should make a pretty big difference. This is a test to show you how you can get great audio within DaVinci Resolve's Fairlight page. This is sounding pretty good. And what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna lower my Q factors ever so slightly so that I don't get those harsh cuts. I'm gonna lower this a little bit more something like that should be fine and what i want to do now is i'm going to increase this to around 0 0.8 or 9. and now if you have a listen this is a test to show you how you can get great audio within davinci resolve's fairlight page this is sounding pretty good now what i'm going to do is i'm going to add a de and i'm going to add a noise reduction so hit this plus on effects go to restoration and add the de -esser and then add the noise reduction. On the de -esser, I usually go to the drop down menu where it says default and choose male ESS, which works pretty fine for me. Then I'm gonna close this and on noise reduction, all I do is select auto speech mode and this should do the job just fine. And all I wanna do now is go to my dynamics and add some compression. So let's go to audio track number two, double click in dynamics and I'm gonna activate my compressor. With the ratio, I usually turn this up to four by one. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go to the start, I'm gonna hit play, and there you see the gain reduction and the middle slider. There you see, there you should see some blue bumps in there. And while I'm playing through the audio file, I'm gonna take my threshold and I'm gonna shift this towards the negative side so I can clearly see the gain reduction there. And this should be around minus three dB. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna reset this and I'm gonna hit play to around 18.8. Should be fine because when I play this back, just look at those bumps right there. This is a test to show you how you can get great audio within DaVinci. Those are between minus four to minus five. And what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna use my makeup to make the quiet parts just a little bit louder. And I'm gonna do this by the amount I'm reducing the loudness. So I'll usually go to 3.5 to four. Let's go to four. And now if we hit play, close this. This is a test to show you how you can get great audio within DaVinci Resolve's Fairlight page. These are all the steps that I usually do. And just for you to notice, I'm not an audio guy, I'm not a sound engineer, but these are the techniques that I do whenever I'm editing a voiceover or my tutorials. All right, guys, that's a wrap. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If so, please consider leaving a like and a subscribe if you haven't already to not miss out on any upcoming content in the future, but also to help me spread out this video to even more people that might be interested in that specific topic. So with that being said, guys, hope you all had a great start in 2022. See you in the next video. Bye.